Hi, I'm going to show you how to launch a Socratic quiz in your classroom. First thing you need to do is get your teacher iPad and find your teacher version of Socratic and go ahead and tap on it. This will go ahead and launch. You'll have to log in if you're not already logged in. And the first thing you'll do is click the button that says start a quiz. Once you tap that, all of your quizzes that are recent will open. So if you haven't used this for a while, um, the one you're looking for won't be there. You'll want to go to the All button. Tap the All button, scroll down and find the quiz that you want to launch right now, and then tap on that one. Your options will be pretty default. What you do want to make sure is that you disable student feedback. That way they don't see the answers when they answer their questions. Then you go up towards the top right and you go to the teacher paste. Make sure you tap teacher paste. Now you're ready to go. Go down to the bottom right side, click start, and you're ready to launch. Now all you have to do is have your students either use the computer, log into Socrative.com, or use an iPad and find the student version of the app for Socrative. Make sure that you give them your room number, which is usually your last name. Okay, now that your students have opened up the Socrative app or the website, first thing they'll have to do is type in your room number, which you've given to them. Then they click join the room. Their first question will be to enter their name. So they'll put in their first and last name, or however you want them to do it. And then this is when you'll be able to see what's going on. So you have the teacher on the left and the student on the right. So as the students log in and they put their first name and last name, on your iPad you will start to see the number of students within the classroom start populating. You want to make sure that that bottom number is the total number within your room. After enough students have logged in, you want to make sure if there's 25 kids in your room, it says 25 over 25, then click Next. All the student has to do now is you'll send them the question, they make their selection, and now they tap down Submit Answer. So once again, when you have 25 over 25, you would hit Next, send the next question. And then as you send the question, they see it, they make their selection, they select Submit Answer, and then you can complete your quiz and go through the rest of your questions. When you get to your last question, You'll, instead of next, you'll hit finish. This will bring up a new screen for us. Usually you will email this to you. I use Google Drive, so I would tap the Google Drive button. But you also want to make sure that you tap the whole class Excel. You want the whole class Excel sheet in your either email or your Google Drive. Then click submit, and you're all set. Now it'll be either emailed to you, or it'll be in your Google Drive, and you're ready to go and view all your results. Hope that helps.